Hi, my name is Kimberly from Zebman Development. Today I'm going to show you how to import data from We Did It into the Razor's Edge using Importacular. So first of all, open up your plugins area of Razor's Edge, select Importacular and choose We Did It from the available data sources and click Start. I've already entered my date criteria, so it's showing me how many records there are for me to review and we can see that there are seven. You can select an existing mapping template or create your own. Let me show you what I've set up here. So we've got an initial constituent mapping and you need this if you're going to create any records in Razor's Edge. This is really basic. I've just got the donor's first name and the donor's last name. I've also got a default constituent code uh, of online donor for any of the constituents that I'm creating. If we go across to the address tab on the top, we can see we've got home address and email. Let's take a look at the address mapping. So you can see on the left, we've got the Razor's Edge fields and in the middle, we've got the date, the source field names. So these are the fields that we find on We Did It. So if I click on here, I can select from any that are in the drop down and map those to a Razor's Edge field of my choosing. I've also got an email address. And finally, I've got the gift that I'm going to bring in to Razor's Edge as well. So once I'm happy with that template, I can save it. I'm going to create a control report and this will just show me any errors that there might be during the processing. And I can create a query of Razor's Edge constituents who are new uh, or updated. Once I process those, I'll be showing this review screen. So we can see on the left, the action to take. So we're going to either create a new record, we're going to update an existing record, um, or it will ask us to make a decision if it's not sure if it's found a match or not. Um, if we don't want to run an import, we can change this to ignore, and that will go to the control report rather than being updated on Razor's Edge. So the first record we've got, we're going to create a record. Obviously, this is test data, so not a real name. Um, and the second record we're going to create as well. The third record down, you can see we've got an update and that's because it's found a match within the grid. So this person has made multiple donations. So we're not going to create more than one record in Razor's Edge. We're going to create one and then add the additional data to it. And lastly, we've got this third record here. If there were any uh, records that were matched in Razor's Edge, then they would show in the bottom box here and you could select those and choose to update date that record instead. And then the tabs along the, tabs along the trot the top allow us to drill down into the data that's going to be imported. So on the constituent tab, we can see the first name and surname as I create it. On the address tab, we've got all the different fields there. So the data that you see that's in black, that's all editable within the table. So if you spot a little mistake, then you can very easily correct that on the fly. Anything that's greyed out uh, is not editable. And so as you'll see, all of the GIF fields are, are not editable fields here but we can see all of the different information that's going to go into Razor's Edge and where it's going to go. So if you're happy with all of that data, then you can import the data. But before you do that, you can validate it. So that's really useful if you've got a large amount of data, so you can check that everything's going to go in as you expect. But if you need to make a little change, you can do that before you try and import properly. So let's validate that data. And we can see that there were no exceptions and no errors, so we're good to import the data. So let's do that. So we untick this button here and import it. We create a query of the constituents we're going to create an update. And then the process runs through again, and we can see exactly what's been created and what's been updated. So let's come out there. Let's go and find our query. Here we go. Let's take a look at the results. So we've got our three records there. Let's open up this one. So we can see the information that came in exactly as mapped. So we've got a first name and surname. We've got the address that's come in here. We can see that we've added our 
constituent code of online donor. And we've got our email address mapped in here as well. Now you'll notice the gift isn't here yet and that's because gifts go into batch. So let's take a look at the batch area. And here we can find our importacular we did it data source gifts. So let's open that. And if we're happy with all of those gifts, then we can commit it. Exactly as you would any other batch. And that will, will get processed in Razor's Edge. And you'll get your batch control report. And that's complete. So let's go and take a look at that record now. We can see that there's a gift and we can see all of the gifts that he made, as you remember there were multiple gifts, have now been added in Razor's Edge with all the information that I asked for. So it's as simple as that. I hope you found that useful. If you have more questions, please visit our website www.zeedman.info. Thanks for listening.